Notre Dame, and also Dave Gaddy, who uh, went on to play at William Mary and uh, had, had a very good career there. The coach in the 50s, we would win three championships. The 1957 team still holds the CHSFL record for fewest points allowed in a seven game season, 31 points. That record still stands, you know, five and a half decades later. You know, also in this time period, you were coaching Dan Henning, uh, Walter Ribbonak, Pete Callahan. What experiences uh, from you, Mr. Nastro, the Franciscan brothers, led to these gentlemen have great college football success, professional success, and now 50 years later, you know, what kind of things did they thank you for? The inspiration you gave them, the dedication, the, the, the role model you were in their lives? Well, I, I think we first have to start with the individuals uh, of, uh, of Rutkowski and uh, Peter Callahan and uh, uh, Dave Gaddy and all of those outstanding men. Number one, they all had excellent character. So we've been very fortunate at St. Francis that the largest percentage of our young men that come to us have excellent personal character. They have good values. If you gave them direction that they have to weight train or do extra sports, we believe, and I believe, that young people are better off playing two or three sports and then playing one sport rather than specializing. I think there's something to be gained from all, all sports which can carry over into the sport that you might feel that you're having the most success in. Um, so one, we had young men coming uh, to us with excellent character. The other interesting factor is they were bright. These kids are very bright young people. So that in trying to develop a scheme of the inside out belly side, belly series, whatever, um, they were easily, they easily adapted to that kind of uh, uh, scheme that we tried uh, to coach. Uh, and uh, they, they were good workers. So we had a bright kid, had a, a good work ethic, uh, came from homes that, uh, either immigrant homes or homes of very modest circumstances. So they're coming to you with solid values and their families were excellent in giving them that quality of character. So uh, as we got to have those type of individuals, they were impacting on each other. So all of this uh, great quality and personal uh, um, sacrifice, this is part and parcel of their homes they were bringing that to us. They were good students, they were going home applying stuff. The Franciscan brothers were doing an outstanding job as well as the lay teachers in directing them and giving them uh, values and, and directing them towards what they should be doing in life in terms of developing their own character. So we had, a, uh, we had a lot of ingredients of why these young people were successful. And we had, uh, again, Johnny Boyle, and, uh, and uh, certainly had uh, uh, later on Frankie Nastro and Vinnie Gargano. All of our coaching staff was excellent. Now, Coach, tell us about Dan Henning. Dan was your first great quarterback, was a scholarship athlete at the College of William & Mary, played professionally for the San Diego Chargers for a few seasons, and achieved uh, incredible uh, fame and success at the NFL. Head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, head coach of the San Diego Chargers, won a Super Bowl ring with the Washington Redskins uh, as the offensive coordinator, quarterback coach. You know, tell us about Dan, your 50-year relationship with him, and you know, the things you taught each other, and uh, certainly you know, the things that Dan's most proud of from his association with you. Uh, first of all, again, uh, 